Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm sorry to say that it looks like the U.S. Navy uh, has been pretty seriously infected by the mental disorder of liberalism. At issue is an oiler which apparently has already been named after... Harvey Milk, who was an officer in the Navy, <clears throat> Harvey Milk had a penchant for luring young boys into his uh, apartment, home, whatever. Teenage boys in their late teens, basically, 16, 15, 16, 17. That was his uh, particular sexual flavor. He was a homosexual, but he also liked young boys, basically. And the Navy is naming, like I said, an oiler after him. I guess they've already done it. T-A-T-A-O-206 USS USMS. Harvey Milk. Now this guy has been has also had a postage stamp named after him. But he was a sick he was a sick sick person. Say at least. What Obama has done is he's taken taken out most of the good officers, I'm talking about the high level ones, and he's put in their stead cronies who are ultra liberal and don't care anything about the military at all. We got more information on this guy. Navy ship to be named after pederastic rapist Harvey Milk. Just going to read a little expert. If I can find a little expert excerpt on this. It talks about a 16 year old that he picked up. What he would do is see him pick up Teenage runaway boys and lure men Well, I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. Unlike Vidal apparently violated violation of US law by limiting his sexual predations in Thailand That's Gore Vidal they're talking about Milk committed statutory rape. One of his victims was a 16-year-old runaway from Maryland named Jack Galen McKinley, age consent in California is 18. Columnist Mike Barber called calling Milk demonstrably, categorically an evil man, wrote of the pederast relationship with McKinley and other adolescent males. Technically, he's not, he was not a pedophile. By the way, he got assassinated by uh, an ex-Board of Supervisors person in the uh, 1970s. Technically, the guy was not uh pedophile per se, but he did like young boys in their teens. Here we go, World Not Daily story, sexual predator honored with U.S. postage stamp. So this pervert is not only had a ship named after him, but a postage stamp as well. So we have mega, mega liberals running these government organizations. Kind of hard to get conservatives running them.
you know, who's next? <clears throat> who's next? Why don't we just name a ship after Charles Manson while we're at it? I mean, what the hell? Why not? Well, that's another story about Hillary. Here's the Moscone milk assassinations were the killings of San Francisco Mayor George Moscone and San Francisco Supervisor Harvey Milk who were shot and killed in San Francisco City Hall by former Supervisor Dan White on November 27, 1978. White was angry that Moscone had refused to reappoint him to a seat on the Board of Supervisors from which White had just resigned and that White had lobbied heavily against his reappointment. These events helped bring him national most to then Board President Diane Feinstein, the monster uh, senator. Well, White was subsequently convicted of voluntary manslaughter Rather than first degree murder, that verdict sparked the White Knight riots in San Francisco and led to the state of California abolishing the diminished capacity criminal defense. It also led to the urban legend of the Twinkie defense as media reports had incorrectly described the defense as having been attributed White's diminished capacity to the effects of sugar laden junk food. And that guy killed himself in 1985. So, that's what you have for your military. Obama's put a bunch of these whack job leftist pinko commies in there. He's taken out the good officers. And now they're honoring sick fuckers like uh, Harvey Milk with being named after ships and so forth. It's disgusting. It's abhorred. God, vote Trump. That's all I can say. He can hardly be worse than what we have in there now. Go Trump. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.